welcome back to the channel guys uh today i can finally start talking about amd um competitor to sam which is nvidia's resizable bar now this is um, a technology that uses the PCI express interface to uh, allow you to access the gpu's uh, complete frame buffer now i'll talk about uh, that in a more detail in a moment so if you want to validate that your resizable bar has been enabled you can use things like gpu-z which will say if your resizable bar is enabled, make sure you've got the latest version though. Some of the previous versions don't support uh, this confirmation. Or if you don't have GPU-Z, you can always use the NVIDIA control panel and just go down into uh, system information. And then it will say resizable bar yes if it's been enabled or it will say no if it's not currently uh, active. So that's another way of verifying. Now let's talk a little bit more about resizable bar itself. Um, resizable bar is an optional PCI Express interface technology. As you move through a world in-game, GPU memory VRAM constantly transfers textures, shaders, and geometry via small CPU uh, to GPU transfers. With the ever-growing size of modern game assets, this results in a lot of transfers. Using resizable bar assets can instead be requested as needed and sent in full. So the CPU can efficiently access the entire frame buffer, and if multiple requests are made, transfers can occur concurrently rather than queuing. So it should speed up the process and provide uh, an increase in performance, hopefully. Now, unfortunately, Resizable Bar at this time hasn't been confirmed to work with every single game in a positive manner. Um, so NVIDIA has actually gone through the trouble of letting you know which games do actually show a positive uh, effects, and they will... Um, identify additional titles that benefit from resizable bar one and they'll introduce it to this chart as well so right now there's about 17 games which i kind of own pretty much most of them so i should be able to give you guys a good comparison here a few factors i mentioned earlier you do need in place before you can use resizable bar one you do need an rtx uh, 3000 series gpu there is no support for pascal and uh, turing as far as i'm aware um, also you need to have one of the supporting chipsets as well so Zen 3, uh, Intel 10th Gen or Intel 11th Gen, the Rocket Lake that just came out today. And finally, you also need to be using driver um, 465.89. Um, this is a game ready driver. It came out on the 30th of March 2021. It does have support for resizable bar. Um, so that's another thing. Finally, you, you also need to have uh, VBIOS support as well. So I actually had to up. Um, flash my um, ASUS RTX 3090 Tough OC to the latest BIOS which came out today which has uh, resizable bar support. So there's a lot of factors involved. Your VBIOS may need to be updated, your motherboard BIOS has to support it and your actual uh, platform needs to support it and finally you need to be using uh, 465.89 or newer if you're watching this in the future. So that's pretty much it for the explanation. Um, sorry if that was a bit long-winded. I'm going to get into some testing now and let's see if there's any performance increase uh, from using resizable bar on the NVIDIA side.
So there you have it guys, NVIDIA's resizable bar. You can see it does actually give you a performance boost. For the most part at 4K, it's less effective. For 1440p, you definitely claw back a few of those lost frames. And for whatever reason, Ampere in the, in the form of the RTX 3090 and 3080 seem to perform not that great um, at any resolution below 4K. So it's good to be able to get a few frames back here and there. Now, one of the most um, effective increases I saw was, I believe it was Forza Horizon 4 where I was getting 163 frames per second on average at 4K Ultra preset um, with um, the resizable bar off. With the resizable bar on, I was able to get a average frames per second of 174 FPS. So that's an increase of 11 uh, frames per second at 4K, which is definitely a welcome boost. You'll take that no problem. At 1440p, even more effective able to get 212 fps at 1440p ultra preset with a resizable bar off with it on i was able to get 228 fps average so it's a 16 frames per second boost again a welcome addition and you do nothing for it apart from just putting a few uh, pressing a few buttons in your bio so it's nice to to have that option and uh, hopefully some more games will support this and benefit from this um i'm not sure if it's something that the uh, developers have to program for hopefully it's just something um, that just works itself into drivers uh, what I wanted to say as well is that on average you'll see around 3 FPS increase at 4k and around 5 FPS at 1440p this is quite clear in a game for example like uh, Horizon Zero Dawn um, at 4k um, with bar on you're getting 98 FPS with bar off you're getting 95 so about 3 FPS increased at 4k 1440p um, 150 FPS um, with it off and 159 with it on so 9 FPS increase there which is a little bit more than normal so there are some games that are going to give you a better boost so um, the main thing is it works and uh, hopefully it will work its way into a bit more games but um, that is pretty much it for me hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and as always thanks for watching